Great by Choice, presented by Tanner Webster, Matt Borgman, and Seth Kissel. Great by Choice was written by Jim Collins and Martin T. Hansen. In 2002, they started writing the book. It was published in October 2011. During that time, George W. Bush and Barack Obama was our presidents. We had the financial crisis of 2007-2008. There was a lot of bankruptcies happening. In this book, it talks about how the 10 Xers did better than the competitors by using discipline and being consistent with the things they do. The bias in this book leads toward discipline and consistency from leaders to get great results within the company. The intended audience for this book is those seeking business strategy advice. It could be CEOs doing poorly or maybe just looking to improve or even students like ourselves. This book was created to show that the great business leaders can do well, no matter what market conditions may be thrown their way if they stick to their core. It also points out the failure of those who stray away from that core. United Animal Health got away from their core like we talked about in class, and then in time realized that they need to sell off those businesses that were not part of their core. They had to get smaller in order to get better and then to get bigger. Getting back to their core business was essential for their growth. Southwest and Intel are also examples of companies that stuck to their core and became very successful. Purdue alum and basketball legend John Wooden is known for sticking to his own strict processes. Specific, methodical, and consistent, or SMAC, covers how one should approach processes in all aspects of life and how it can lead to 10x success. Thoroughly thinking through every decision to make the best choice will help to guide you through times of uncertainty. It was said that Wooden's players from different teams could all meet up on the court and still play well together. This is because of how rarely he strayed from his specific processes. These processes were so detailed that they even covered how the players should tie their shoes. Ensuring proper attire served as a preventative measure for blisters and other injuries in a big game. This risk management and SMAC way of thinking helped to guide Wooden to his high levels, of, high levels of success. When appropriate success was reached, Wooden could then make small amendments to his processes in order to create a safe level of change. This relates back to Collins and Hansen's concept of firing bullets before cannonballs. Their meaning behind this is to simply rely on a cheaper and safer method before shooting for a home run. In the book, it talks about how Southwest copied Pacific Southwest Airlines business plan because of how successful it was. But then PSA gets off their business plan by buying aircraft that they usually wouldn't operate. They didn't test this market first and they lost money in it. They ended up failing and being bought out while Southwest continues their usual business plan and dominates the industry. Southwest outperformed the industry by 550.4 times. 10 timers and Southwest quickly react to unexpected events because they had upfront planning. Southwest faced difficult times with air traffic controller strikes, high fuel prices and increasing interest rates that nobody could predict but they stuck to their plan and remained successful. Collins' example of the 20 mile march speaks of the correlation between consistent training and discipline. Those who remain disciplined and consistently march 20 miles, no matter the conditions, rather than burning themselves out on only nice days are able to maintain long-term competitive advantage. This was shown in the book through Scott and Amundsen. They're both racing to get to the South Pole. Amundsen has a detailed plan and goes a consistent distance no matter the weather. Meanwhile, Scott goes far on nice days and sits around in his tent on bad days. Amundsen makes it to the South Pole first and Scott and his crew die in a storm because they didn't have a good plan. In conclusion, we learned that having a plan to stick to your core and being prepared for unexpected events by being disciplined and consistent helps the 10 timers achieve more success than competitors.